To give you some inspiration, if you had invested 500 Swiss francs every month in a third pillar over a period of 32 years, you would have become a millionaire now. What? Not bad. So the third pillar, A, is one of the most powerful weapons available to reduce your taxes in Switzerland while allowing to generate considerable savings. Let's take a look together at how it works so you can choose the best third pillar A in Switzerland. If you enjoyed the content of my channel, consider subscribing and liking the video. The third pillar is basically an investment fund where you can contribute every year. This is not compulsory, but in most situations you will make a huge mistake by not investing in your third pillar. The main idea behind your third pillar is to encourage you to create savings for your retirement. In this video, I will only talk about the third pillar A, which is the most popular. There is also a third pillar B, which is a little bit less interesting because the tax reduction is lower. To understand the reason for the creation of the third pillar, one must understand how your retirement will be funded. As an employee, your employer will deduct directly from your salary two kinds of contribution. The first pillar, which is represented by your OASI contributions, as well as your second pillar, which is represented by your pension funds. Both of those contributions are mandatory. I will not get into detail about their characteristics, but the most important point to remember is that in theory, the third pillar and the second pillar should allow you to receive a pension at retirement up to an amount of 60% of your last salary. But well, that's a theory. In practice, the amount that you will receive during your retirement is usually much lower, but let's move on to this one. This is why the Swiss Confederation has decided to create a third pillar as they have noticed that the first and the second pillar would not be enough to cover your expenses when retiring. They offer really nice tax advantages to anyone that decides to invest in the third pillar by allowing you to deduct the amount from your taxable income. It is an investment in an investment fund which is accessible for employed and self-employed people in Switzerland. The amount is deductible in the year in which you make the payment. For an employee, the maximum amount changes every year, but it is around 7,000 Swiss francs. So don't forget to make this payment in the current year as you will lose your right for the year. Another point to note, this deduction can also be valid for cross-border worker who have the status of quasi-resident on their personal tax return. Once the funds are deposited, the funds will be completely locked in your investment fund. However, depending on the service provider you choose, you can decide on the allocation on your portfolio. It is quite similar to a trading account with more limitation on the amount of assets that you can hold. You also have the possibility to change provider during the year. How to withdraw your capital? The funds can be withdrawn according to one of the following events. Five years before the legal retirement age. The good news is that there are other conditions that will allow you to withdraw your third pillar for the creation of your company, but be careful, it needs to be a sole proprietorship. For the acquisition of your main residence in Switzerland or in Europe. For the repayment of your mortgage on your main residence. For permanent departure abroad. To repurchase into your pension fund or if you receive a full disability pension from the federal disability insurance. In addition, there will be an exit tax depending on the value of your funds and your place of residency at the time of withdrawal. You can look at this table to give you an idea. For example, a person who withdraw the capital of 1 million in the canton of Appenzell will pay only 5.5%, that would be 55,000 Swiss francs. Meanwhile, someone living in the canton of Ticino would pay 14%, that would be 142,000 Swiss francs. So there is a difference of 100,000 Swiss francs between those two people. That's very huge. So this is why there are a lot of strategies to put in place in order to optimize those amounts. Do not hesitate to contact me for more information because it is very important to plan early. For the choice of your third pillar A, this is where it gets complicated because there are many providers with different offers. So let's have a look together at the different type of third pillar A. Third pillar 3A, banking solution. This is a pure savings product and the management fees are very transparent. 
For example, you invest 1,000 Swiss francs on your account and you will receive 1,000 Swiss francs on your savings account. And every year you will need to pay a small management fees. So it is very simple and it is transparent. Now the third pillar 3A, insurance solution. So this product will combine a saving product as we have mentioned above for the banking product and would also have an entrance product according to your choice. For example, in case of disability, your entrance may continue to pay you an annual payment or if you were to die, your entrance may also provide you with a capital contribution. So the entrance can be interesting for some people who want to reduce certain risks related to the hazard of life. The main problem is that most often you will need to go through a brokerage company, an insurance company, and they will charge you some really high cost for that. What I found in most of the contracts that I've seen that their fees are not very transparent. So when you're looking at the contract, it's not really clear like how much you're paying for your savings, how much you're paying for your risk, and how much you're paying for your commissions. It was not very clear. So I don't really like that product because of those reasons. So on my side, my personal choice is I always choose the third pillar 3A bank. Now we will continue further and we will assess the profitability of a third pillar banking solution. Let's make a small example. So we have Mr. Simon, he lives in the canton of Geneva. He starts investing at 55 years old and he will contribute 6,800 Swiss francs per year at the beginning of the year. We assume a return net of expenses of 7% per year this is not guaranteed, of course, and he will withdraw his entire capital at the age of 65 after 10 years of contribution. His marginal tax rate is 30%. First step, you can deduct your contribution of 6,800 from your taxable income. So in this case, 6,800 times 30%, it means he will save 2,040 Swiss francs of taxes per year. On this point, and this is important to clarify, the higher your tax rate, the more interesting the third pillar will be interesting for you. Let's say you're just starting your career, you have a small salary of 2,000 Swiss francs, has an internship per month, then the third pillar 3A will not be interesting for you as you will not make any tax savings since your salary is way too high and you're not supposed to pay any taxes on such a small salary. You will be able to choose your location with your third pillar provider according to their available strategies. There will be a small management fees of about 0.4 to 1% per year, depending on your provider. So in our example, we will provide 6,800 in our third pillar over a period of 10 years with a net return of 7%. How we will make the contributions? So be careful with that. What you will make, you will first invest 4,760 out of your pocket, and then you will also be able to invest your 2,040 of tax reduction so instead of keeping in your pocket you will invest it in your third pillar so i've made a calculation and over a period of 10 years the ending capital that you receive will be 100,528 and 48 cent and the great things about the third pillar is that all your gain like dividend capital gain they will be fully tax-free so you're not paying any taxes on your earnings that you've been generating over those 10 years now when withdrawing your capital when withdrawing his capital, he will need to pay a tax on its withdrawal. It will depend on your place of residency and the amount that you're withdrawing. In this example, he will need to pay 4.7%, so it means that 100,528 times 4.7% means he will need to pay 4,725 in taxes. The job of the tax specialist will be to help you creating several third pillar accounts. And what you will try to do is you will try to to withdraw your special account in different years so it will help you decreasing your tax rate so if you need some help i can help you we can create several third pillar a together we will make a few projections of what will be your projected returns and how much it will cost you in taxes when you will be withdrawing those amounts what we can do we will try to withdraw your amounts in different years so it will decrease the tax rate and we will try to think whether it makes sense for you to move to different locations so you'll be decreasing your taxes. So now let's have a look what is the total return of Mr. Simon over the period of 10 years. So you remember he was investing in stocks and we were taking into account a 7% rate of return. But when I'm doing my calculation, I'm computing the internal, internal rate of return, we can see that he has made a 15% return over a period of 10 years, which is completely amazing. If you're making 15%, 
by the industry standard, you are one of the best wealth manager out there. It's very difficult to get such return. So we might we may ask ourselves, where did all this return coming from? He was expected to make only 7%, right? But he was able to save on his taxes, and the taxes will amount for 8% of, out of the total return. We will continue with the third pillar, A banking solutions, where most people get contacted by the bank on an external consultant. So there is always a conflict of interest between yourself and your consultant and your bank because they will have an interest in offering you with their product which brings them the highest commission. It is not uncommon to find yourself with products that offer management fees up to 1% on your fund. Over a period of 10 years, 20 or 40 years, that will represent a huge amount of fees that will be wasted. Secondly, the allocation that they will suggest to you will be very simple. Most of the time, they will tell you to invest a little bit in shares and the other part in bonds. The good thing is that you can fully replicate those strategies thanks to the third pillar that I will recommend to you. So don't hesitate contacting me if you need further assistance on your third pillar. Personally, I use the third pillar solution offered by FIAC and FinPension. They're quite similar and their management fees are about 0.4% on pacing investments. Those management fees, they're amongst the lowest you can find in the industry at the moment. So VIAC, the good point is that VIAC will allow you to invest 100% in cash without any management fees. So for me, VIAC can be really interesting for those of you that wish to hold a cash position. Otherwise, feed pension is more interesting, I think, because there are more products. It allows you a greater allocation in commodities than VIAC, so with VIAC you can only invest 10%, meanwhile with Fin pension you can invest up to 20%. Fin pension also allow you to invest in shares up to an amount of 99%. Meanwhile, you can only invest up to an amount of 97% with VIAC. Fin pension is located in the Canton of Schwitz and VIAC is located in the Canton of Basel. So Fin pension is more interesting if you intend to make a capital withdrawal when you are living abroad. See you soon.